All right, this is gonna be video two of the 2012 Jaguar XKR Coupe. Uh, we're gonna dive into the interior in this video. We'll start off here on the driver's door panel. So this one's got the two-tone interior. I believe it's called London Tan, is what they call this color here, with the black. Very nice. You got all your seat controls here, your bolsters, lumbar, memory seating. This is your sound. Uh, overall, door panel, very nice shape. See minimal wear here. And a little bit on the buttons. Um, door buttons look great. All the leather, very nice shape. Not seeing any, uh, you know, watermarks or rips or tears or peeling. So checking out the door sill. Again, very nice shape. Minimum wear. Up here in the jams, you can kind of see a few times where the seatbelt hit. You know, which can happen, a little bit of scratches there. The rest of it looks very nice. Let me get this paper out of here. And then this one's got the performance seats. So you got the little more sportier styling in here. So we got a lot of noise in the background. So checking out the driver's seat. Overall, very nice shape. Bolsters does show a little bit of wear here. Uh, nothing's actually split, but you know you can kind of see where it is a little bit of cracked. Still pretty nice and smooth though. We do got a die guy coming later this week and I'll probably have him refinish this part of the seat, make it look like new. Uh, rest of the seat, very nice shape. You know, the bottoms, they still look like new. So very nice and clean. Uh, we got all the original floor mats, carpets are all in good shape. You know, no holes or heel digging into the carpets or coffee that was spilt or anything like that. Uh, dashboard, super nice and clean. Uh, these Jaguar XKs, XKRs, I know these later years are a little better. But, uh, you know, 2011 and below, they had a notorious issue of uh, this raising up. You know, the letter would start pulling. Definitely not a car you want to leave baking out in the sun. And that's usually a sign that it has been. But this one's in very nice shape. Got all the black wood trim. Super clean. Got the USB and iPod. That's for your um, putting the key in as well. I think it's just a little tool for the tires. Oh, very nice. We'll do an inch start up here in a sec, but let's check out the passenger side. So, passenger door panel, very nice and clean as well. Again, very minimal wear. I really don't see much. It's a little black spot there in the leather. I think that just might have been a spot miss from the detail. I could probably even get that out. All the carpet portion of it, very nice and clean. Again, leather, all nice and tight. Door sill looks perfect. This side of the door jam. A lot better than the other side. A little bit of a couple of dings there from that seat belt. The seat, bolster on this side, pretty much like new, just some very light, you know, kind of cracking going on, and I would not split. Uh, rest of the seat looks perfect. Very nice. And again, all the leather, very nice shape, all the wood, nothing's cracked. That dash again, very nice. And this one's got the leather headliner. It's kind of hard to see with the slash, but try to go on the other side. But you can see this is actual leather up top. And you got a little suede visors here on the back side and leather on the bottom. So yeah, back seats, uh, very rarely most people sit back here, but very nice shape. I don't think really anyone has sat back here. All the seat posts look like brand new. 
The middle portion of the seat looks perfect. Very nice. You'll see a lot of times too on this edge from these uh, front seats, this gets all torn up. On this side, looks perfect. Let's check out the driver's side. This side's also perfect. So this is probably one of the only ones I've seen where uh, someone didn't dig into the back. <laughs> that is very common on these guys. All right, let's go ahead and open up the trunk. So being a coupe, cool thing with this too. The you know, trunk goes all the way through. You get a lot of space back here. This is just a, a windshield screen made for this windshield. Got some extra storage underneath. I believe that's your DVD player and your battery sits in this section too. So you would just take off those knobs if you ever needed to um, take the battery out. You know, trickle charge it, that's a way of doing it. Okay, I'm gonna close this door and let's do an engine startup. All right, so it is push to start. Starts up really nice. Go ahead and open up the hood. So it's still a little bit cold right now. come in and warm up. So, super clean under the hood. Even the, um, the hood insulation looks perfect. This isn't all torn up. Nice. All right, so while this is warming up, let's check a few of the options and then we'll do a few revs. Oh yeah, we'll check out these, uh, these headlights too. So they got the LEDs lighting up on the side. I got that little blue spot off too, a little bit of compound. But headlights are gorgeous on this car. So this one's equipped with backup camera. Pretty rare to find in these. A lot of people end up installing these after the fact, which this one may have been. But it does have backup, which is nice. Got your heated seats, heated, st heated steering wheel. You go to audio. Obviously you got your AM and FM radio. Turn the volume up. The most commercial free jams. Yeah. Omega 1043. Yeah, speakers sound great. You got satellite radio, CD, portable audio. There's going to be those um, inputs inside here. So, with the iPod one, they got a thing called, I believe it's Car Pro. You plug it in that. It works kind of like Bluetooth for the car. So, this car, you know, a little bit too old for Bluetooth music, but there's a way around it. You know, while having to plug in your phone, which is pretty cool. Um, in the glove box, we got some of the books in there. Got your garage controls up front, parking sensors. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the all the fun stuff. So let's go ahead, give it a couple revs. I'm gonna stick the phone a little bit outside so you can hear a little better. That's up to 4,000. So, I mean, it, it definitely does growl quite a bit. That exhaust sounds awesome. I'll try to go a little bit more. Yeah, I think Jaguar actually kind of limits you from over revving and idle. 
but so you're pretty much only getting at 4,000 um, to stand still. Still sounds awesome, very nice and healthy. I'll do a nice slow one here. Very nice, and the cabin is super still. All the mounts are great. You know, the tie rods and everything. There's no clunk and clanking going on. Just very nice. All right, we'll go ahead and shut her off. All right, so that's gonna conclude our videos here on the 2012 Jaguar XKR Coupe Dynamic Pack. Super beautiful car. If any questions, please feel free to reach us out here at Midline Motors. Again, my name is Vince. You can reach us at 480-470-2500. Thanks for watching.